Okay guys, day two of the uh, junkyard. Yeah, look how big this place is. It's huge, it goes all the way down that way, all the way down that way. It's in the middle of LA Harbor. Oil wells right there. And uh, look at all the refineries right there. So yeah, this place is huge. So I couldn't find this stuff at the other place, so I'm gonna do some searching here. Look for some 5.0, high output 5.0, maybe a computer. Some injectors maybe, MAF sensor. We'll just see, I'm just kind of playing around. This is fun for me, so. All right, cool. Guys, here's a 5.0, um, probably 94, 95, I guess. Like the newer body style. Yeah, that's a bad thing off there, but. Yeah, it's obviously not, that's what I'm looking for. Computer would be different. All right, there's another 5.0 Mustang. Body style, the Fox style. So I'll come back and take a look at the computer and see what it says. But I mean, if I could find an A9P, it's it called. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Or like a, I mean, that'd be the best thing I could find. But I'm surprised these weren't. Uh, I mean, these are TFI. I think they'd be EIS by now. LSC. Except this is uh, speed density. Guys, looking here, I didn't, sound, I didn't find any math stuff, Bible stuff, so it's becoming rare and rare. So, just kind of going through the truck stuff. All right, guys, no luck. So, so yeah, I highly doubt that we'll get a pair of used injectors. So, for 55 bucks or 80 bucks, I might as well just get refurbished jack injectors because I kind of want to. Put this whole thing together and have a sluggish injector, you know, make anything go crazy trying to figure out what's up. Alright All right, guys, back here. And like I said before, every time I don't grab everything, it always kicks me in the ass and I have to come back and uh, get stuff. So what I, I, I forgot the, uh, the barometric correction sensor. And that's pretty important, I think, because uh, depending, especially for if I, I plan to go off-road with this thing, it, it takes a barometric reading and tells you what altitude you're at and adjusts the map and the fuel tables. Okay, this is an interesting find. This is a 5 liter um, MAF truck. 5 liter MAF truck. I saw this in there. Let's see. Let's see. I bet you the EC is probably been pilfered. That real we're only I don't know what the EC would be on this thing. I guess I'll try to find it. Alright, cool. Bobber, somebody jacked, jacked the EC on that thing. MAF and 5 liter. Looks like 19 pound injectors. Alright, fuck, that sucks. That could have been a good donor, I think, maybe. Hey guys, what's up? So. Got another part for my uh, MPI conversion for my uh, Ford multi-port EFI conversion for like Bronco. Show you what I got here. I don't know how messed up it's gonna be, but bought this on eBay and it's an Edelbrock RPM2 intake. Supposedly this thing was damaged in shipping, like uh, to the to the other customer. It looks like they're like some kind of reseller, but like, parts of some sort. But I guess it was brand new, but it had shipping damage in it. So, but it was only half the price. So I paid 4.25 for this thing, and normally it costs over 800 bucks. So, yeah, I was looking at the. I was actually gonna get one of those uh, the Speedmaster, like the shitty ones, the Chinese ones, the. Uh, Knockoff out box RPM. This is the RPM2. Okay. So, okay, here's the shipping damage. Okay. That's, uh, that's not even a big deal. The gasket will cover that. Not even a big deal. A couple of nicks here, nick there. Yeah, but the gasket, I'm going to file that and make it flat. But yeah, the gasket will cover all this. I'm not even worried about that. 
four dollar, fifty dollar savings. Not a big deal. But what color is this? Is like a sorry, I'm working on my house right now. I'm redoing my kitchen, so the floor is a mess. Okay, so that's actually like a silver painted color. Huh. I, I kind of wanted to powder coat this black. That was my original goal. You know? RPM 2. Okay. It looks like I have the original stuff. Screw pack. Okay. I thought it showed, showed gas if I thought in the picture. Okay, more serious chipping damage there. Not too bad. I don't think the runners are. I actually have elbow. Okay, little one. Hey, I'm just going to file this down a little bit right there. Here's where it's damaged. It really shouldn't affect anything. I'm wondering about port size because I have the. Uh, the Edelbrock E Street heads. Okay. okay well, I thought in the, in the picture they originally showed gaskets. Alright, cool. So, um, alright, cool. Awesome. Next phase. So, yeah, this looks, what's weird is this, this thing is painted and this isn't. So, so yeah, I'm definitely going to probably, I, I don't actually like how the, my Bronco used to be all chromed out when I first started, you know, 20 years ago when I got it. And keeping it all chromed out is too hard to keep clean, you know, especially when you're off-roading and getting dirt and mud everywhere. So, yeah, now I just make everything black. All right, all right let me show you my uh, manifold I got uh, for this MPI conversion project. Got uh, it's an Edelbrock RPM2 air gap. Well, not air gap, sorry. It's actually EFI. So, it's an Edelbrock RPM2. Um, yeah, five manifold for a uh, 351 Windsor, 5.8 liter. That's it. So I actually got this pretty good deal, like 400 bucks on eBay. It actually had some shipping damage, which I already fixed. Um, not too big of a deal. Um, I'll show you the uh, top part here in a couple seconds, but I'm getting it ready for powder coat because um, I'm going to powder coat a black wrinkle. So this green tape you see is, is it actually uh, protects the uh, mating surfaces. Yeah, because I don't want to powder coat there. So... Um, but yeah, you can see some of the damage. I'll, I'll show you that once I'm done with it. I already fixed a lot of it with the, with the file. So, nothing damaged in any of the spots that can have any issues. But let me, uh, can't remember if I actually made the video of that or not. You know, I'm pat blocking this thing here, but. All right, cool, so uh, get it going. All right, guys, got that thing prepped. And that is the little powder cutter. You might have seen that in other videos, but. There it is. I'm going to throw a coat of uh, black wrinkle on that thing. Okay, guys. There it is. Uh, first coat, black wrinkle. Well, not first coat. The only coat. <laughs> Let's see here. So i got to put it in the oven. And it's usually, it's usually about 325 for 15 minutes. And, um... Cool. Looking pretty good. All right, guys. There's the powder coat. Turned out pretty good, I think. A couple spots I had to go back with a Sharpie and... Mix it up in a couple areas around injectors in here. <clears throat> okay, so now I gotta do the top. So, what's funny is that the bottom didn't come painted, it was natural aluminum, whereas this top is painted silver. So, that's where they do that from the factory. Again, yeah, there's lots of dings in it, you know, like right there. And I mean, I don't really care, just I mean, I'm gonna powder coat a black wrinkle, but you know. Um, all right, so I have to take it and put it in my sandblaster. Get all that old paint off first, and then I'll uh, put the powder coat on because you want powder coat. You should always get it to like a metal. Um, yeah, I mean, my my concern is that this is not powder coat. I might bubble my powder coat over it. But all right, cool. So I'm gonna get this uh, going, and 
I will show you when this is done, then I'm going to take my sandpaper and take the color off this thing so it's, you can see the Edelbrock name. So I'll show you that as I'm doing it. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you can see me, but get that off there. Pretty much how you sandblast. It's going to take a while. Alright. A sandblast to clean up some areas, touch my paint, and then I'm gonna go back into. I'm gonna wash this all off, soap it all off, let it dry, and then come back and powder coat. All right, guys, got the powder coating done. So I thought it turned out pretty good. Actually, I gotta get my wet rag and clean that up a little bit. So the dust on it from us kind of down. This is the intake. You can see where I sanded it. The powder coat black wrinkle so this will be the end of part two of this conversion so yeah i pretty much have all the hardware parts now i have a uh, some 30 pound uh, uh ford racing injectors coming in um and this is the uh, egr delete plate and gaskets and this was like 50 bucks amazon this is a 65 millimeter throttle body which I don't, I mean, this is this engine is designed for low RPM and throttle response, so I don't need anything bigger than this, pretty much. I don't think. I guess we'll find out. It's so and then, so that's that. And I, hold on a second here. Well, I'll later. Then I got this um, fuel rail kit from a. This is a. Cheapo, I think, uh, cheapo eBay one, eBay special, there we go, kind of get the idea here, it's like a, it's kind of like an all-in-one, all kit, all-in-one kit for the fuel rail, so, awesome, awesome, so, this will be the end of part, uh, two, Wait, where is he? I don't know, and, and the next one, uh, part, part three, I'll be doing, um, the computer wiring, so,